Adding height to the gardener landscape is really a nice benefit because it will break up the monotony of a level garden. Plus, there's so many choices anymore of plant material to use. And of course, this one right behind me is one of our cattle panels that we've arched to make a, a really an arbor-like display using the coral honeysuckle here, and it's really a nice one. But we've also used the cattle panel here in our tropical garden just with some tea posts, just kind of like we do in our vegetable garden, but we've let this annual vining crop climb up it. And this particular one is called a butterfly pea, and it is a tropical plant. It comes from a lot of the tropical areas like the Caribbean, etc. And if you look, it's very aggressive in its vining nature, but probably the most spectacular thing is the blossom. It's almost a purplish blue color with a little bit of yellow in the center and it's just really about the shape of butterfly wings. That's how it gets its name. But if you look at it closely, you'll see that it actually resembles a pea-type flower, so it's in that same family. And if you investigate a little bit further, you'll see some of the, the uh, vegetable or, or fruit type setting right on the vine, which is a pea. But it's really grown as an ornamental instead of an edible crop, and the flower is just spectacular. Now, because it's tropical, we waited, say, probably late May before we ever put this one in the ground, or even early June, to make sure the temperatures were warmed up. And we started the seed in a peat pot and stuck the peat pot in the ground so we had a little bit of a transplant for a head start. And I think we put about five of them here, and you can see they've taken over the vining uh, appearance of the cattle panel and really a nice display of color, and we get a lot of comments on it here. Now you don't have to use a cattle panel or any kind of structures. Over in our hummingbird garden, we put in another annual vining crop that's called a cardinal climber. And uh, we just started it and put a little bit of a string hanging down from our saucer magnolia tree to kind of give it a help as far as attaching to the tree, a head start. And now it's just growing right up through the saucer magnolia tree. Again, it's called cardinal climber. It's in the hummingbird garden because you'll notice the brilliant red colored flower. It's a tubular shape and the hummingbirds really like it. And the foliage kind of reminds me of a cypress vine with the a compound type foliage on a whorl, but it's a little bit different, but again, the color spectacular and it. it's just perfect to add a little bit of height and variation to our hummingbird garden. Now back in our tropical garden, I want to also show you a plant called a shrimp plant. And it actually is native to the islands of the Caribbean again in Mexico, some of the more tropical areas. There's different genus of this particular plant. We grow it as an annual again. and. Really, the flower comes in several colors, from yellow, white, copper, to bronze colors. And I've got one attached here on my clipboard to, to just show you. People call this the flower spike, but it's kind of resemblance or, or a scenario similar to our bougainvillea and the poinsettia. And what you're looking at is actually colored leaves, and the flower is just this little white flower spike sticking out of there, so it's really not showy. The color is more for the colored up foliage or the leaves, and you can see the veins on them again, but not quite a showy flower. But they'll range anywhere from, say, 8 to 15, 24 inches. During the summer, they love our hot, humid weather, and we again, we have in our garden the bronze color that you see here and one with the whiter foliage. Uh, the reason it's called shrimp plant is you investigate it, the way those leaves are formed, it kind of looks like shrimp a little bit too. So there's really some nice choices in the tropical garden and don't forget to experiment with the tropicals, but also don't forget to grow things vertically as well as horizontally in your garden.